hello and happy Thanksgiving. It's not one of my favorite holidays, but I feel like I should be polite anyway. It's not as if I don't have plans. I'm going to eat a lot of food with my family. I don't turn down opportunities to do that. That said, it's probably of interest to you that I've actually managed to get a theory up today on an actual holiday, which is not a thing that I am known for. And granted, this is a relatively simple theory. I'm not even 100% sure that this script is going to break the 10 minute mark. But still, uh, give me kudos in the comments. I'll, I'll wait. Anyway, I did that thing again where when I broke down uh, a trailer for something, rather than talk about everything, I didn't talk about things that I planned to talk about elsewhere. And I also didn't say I was going to talk about them elsewhere. So some of you guys did rightfully point out areas in my recent breakdown of the sneak peek of Steven Universe future where I didn't talk about things that I just should have. And I apologized where appropriate without letting slip that I was planning to theorize about those things except in one case where I literally couldn't help it because it was funny. But anyway, here we are to talk about one of those things. The next one will be talked about next week. It'll be a little bit more in depth and also probably more likely to be true but this is a fun one and i feel especially on a holiday it's worth talking about it anyway first of all i just want to reiterate the stuff that i said in that trailer breakdown about this character right here who i have theorized to be a genuine rose quartz there is another possibility for what kind of gem she could be there's also a gemstone called pink quartz which is exactly what it sounds like but first of all uh, I guess some people don't actually acknowledge it they just consider it a different variety of rose quartz even though it's literally not because different things make it pink than make rose quartz pink but if you do go by that if you do assume that pink quartz is just a different variety of rose quartz then rose quartz is the only pink quartz and this character is definitely an uncorrupted quartz. Like, she was clearly corrupted at some point. She has horns, and gems don't typically have horns. She's got that splotching on her body, but some gems have similar uh, patterns on their bodies. So that doesn't necessarily mean she was corrupted at some point or another, but the horns definitely do. And the corruption explains the splotching of her skin as well. Now, I said back in that trailer breakdown that it's very conspicuous that she not only has clothing which seems to resemble pink diamonds clothing at least a little bit but she also has a navel gem just like pink diamond aka the og rose quartz i know i'm that guy who has been pushing this entire time uh, for the theory that the bubbled rose quartz gems on the human zoo aren't real that they are false gems that pink diamond created to cover for her false identity. And if this character is a Rose Quartz, then that means at the very least, that theory is partially untrue. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about a few different versions of how this character could be a Rose Quartz and what that might mean. And I'm also gonna talk about where I think that character has been this whole time and why she was put there. There is the simple version of this theory that the entire line of rose quartz gems is real, that they were made on Earth in the prime kindergarten. I would imagine that it's just a shared rose quartz and amethyst kindergarten somehow. Or that they were made somewhere else and came to Earth with Pink Diamond when she came to colonize it. And that when Pink Diamond bubbled all of the rose quartz in accordance with the wishes of the other diamonds after one rose quartz, Pink Diamond herself, rebelled, proving that the line might be defective overall, she kept one back because the other diamonds knew how many there were, and if they saw that she had bubbled every single one of them, and then a rose quartz kept rebelling against them, it would have raised questions. Which would even explain why this character was where I think she was all this time, because Rose would have hidden her away. But if she was put there that early in the timeline, it wouldn't explain how she got corrupted. You'll understand what I mean when we finally get to 
where I think she's been all this time. I think it's actually far more likely that this real Rose Quartz was Pink Diamond's decoy. I don't even necessarily think she interacted with the other crystal gems much. Like she was a legit crystal gem. I think that she was kept on Earth so that Pink Diamond and Rose Quartz could be seen in the same place at the same time. That she was sort of a secret crystal gem or secret servant to Pink Diamond that the other crystal gems didn't know about. Who, prior to her corruption, it would have looked more like uh, Pink Diamond's Rose Quartz disguise, or at the very least, could have shapeshifted the rest of the way into it fairly easily. Who sometimes acted as a surrogate leader to the Crystal Gems so that the Crystal Gems and Pink Diamond could fight each other without anyone growing suspicious on either side. Because remember, Rose was keeping the secret of her true identity from her people on both sides of the conflict. And now this of course raises some questions. Uh, for example, why did Pearl shapeshift into Rose Quartz to shatter Pink Diamond when they had this decoy Rose Quartz ready to do it? And I think the answer to that is easy. First of all, we know that there was fighting going on before Pink and Pearl stepped out of Pink's palanquin to enact the plan. A Rose Quartz would have had to have been out there leading the Crystal Gems prior to that, right? And it couldn't have been Pearl because she was in the palanquin with Pink, a.k.a. Rose. Couple that with the fact that I don't think uh, Pink, a.k.a. Rose, would have trusted anyone but Pearl to carry out this plan. And I think it's reasonable to assume that this decoy Rose Quartz switched places with a shape-shifted Pearl at some point for the shattering to be carried out and then promptly disappeared off somewhere else because uh, Rose Quartz needed to reform from Pink Diamond's gem and the rest of the Crystal Gems, the ones who wouldn't have been in the know about this, couldn't be allowed to see two Rose Quartz in the same place and neither could Homeworld. And before anybody says that Rose couldn't have hidden this person away during the war to prevent herself and this person from being seen in the same place when she was in her Rose Quartz disguise, remember that Rose had entire locations that were secret to everyone, and she kept those lions secret for a long time, too, and this wasn't a lion, this is a person who would have been able to follow her directions and was probably programmed to follow her directions. This doesn't necessarily mean that all of the Rose Quartz that are bubbled at the zoo are real, Pink Diamond could have just straight up created a single Rose Quartz that was real using her diamond powers to act as her decoy and the rest could just be fake blank gems. So the theory that Rose Quartz isn't real could still round out to be true overall. But I do think at the very least one does exist. And I think that Steven insisting on unbubbling the Rose Quartz at the zoo, because it does look like we're going back to the zoo, might be what leads to him discovering the real Rose Quartz. You may have picked up on it as I was describing what I think might have happened, but if this person was sort of a decoy for Rose, it seems impossible to me that at the very least Pearl wasn't in on it. And Pearl is trying to be more honest with Steven now, so if he goes to unbubble those other Rose Quartz, that would remind her that there was a real Rose Quartz somewhere, which might lead Steven to discover that real Rose Quartz, who had been corrupted in the corruption attack, just like every Crystal Gem who didn't start out this show as a main character, who Rose then sought out, poofed, bubbled, and hid in a special place to prevent the rest of her Crystal Gems from learning that there was a Rose Quartz, even just a corrupted Rose Quartz still on Earth, calling her disguise into question. And knowing Rose, I think this very well could be a person who she never intended to let out of their bubble, since this is a person who was corrupted anyway. It's not like they were her old friend or servant or whatever this Rose Quartz was to her. 
anymore. They were a dangerous animal. So it's not like she would leave their bubble out in the open in a special place. I think she would keep it locked away, perhaps in a chest. We don't know for sure if this is true, or at least at the very least, I couldn't find a definitive statement as to whether or not this was true, but the rumor is that some of Steven Universe's future is going to take place before the movie, and then the rest of it is going to take place after. If that is true, then I firmly believe that in those before the movie segments, we're going to learn why the chest was open in Lion's Mane in that one scene that we saw inside Lion's Mane. And I know if Steven pulls this real rose quartz out of there and brings the other diamonds together to help him heal her before the movie, that calls into question why we didn't see her in the movie. But there were other things called into question in the movie that were not explained in the movie, so that's reasonably fine, I think. And frankly, I can't imagine where a real Rose Quartz could have possibly been if she wasn't in the chest, because you think somebody would have seen it in the burning room if it was there, the, the gemstone of this Rose Quartz, uh, if it was there. And at this point, it's pretty well accepted that they've gotten all the corrupted gems roaming around on Earth, and she had to have been on Earth for the corruption attack because she was corrupted, so she can't be one of the bubbled rose quartz from the zoo. We know that the bubbling of those gems happened before Pink's supposed death and the corruption attack happened after. So frankly, she had to have been somewhere super hidden, super secure probably, <laughs> because another rose quartz being on Earth in any form would have called Rose's disguise into question, even if the rest of the stuff I've theorized in this video isn't true. And so I think Rose would have locked her away in something like the chest. So I, I do think it makes sense that she was the thing in the chest. And wouldn't it be super poetically appropriate if after all of the pink diamond is in the chest, theories that went around before we found out that pink and Rose were the same person, that it instead turned out that Rose Quartz was in the chest instead. Like, how epic would that be from, like, a meta standpoint? I really hope that this theory turns out to be true in one form or another. I'm looking at my record timer here, and it went on a lot longer than I expected this video did. So I'm going to call it quits here. I did ramble a little bit, so that explains it. But I am going to call it quits here, because I don't really have any more to say. I am going to refer back to this theory in next week's theory. And I fear that if I ramble much longer, I'm going to start talking about next week's theory and ruin it for you guys. So, what did you guys think of the theory that I presented today in this video? Now, let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord, link in the description. And uh, just to get your thought juices going, if you disagree with me and you don't think that this supposed Rose Quartz was what was in the chest, then what do you think was in there? I'm really curious to know. But either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later.